All right, get ready to have your mind blown by one of nature's craftiest geniuses, the crow. Now, you've probably heard that old fable about dropping stones to drink water, right? Well, crows actually do it. Picture this. A thirsty crow finds a bottle with water too low to reach. What does it do? It grabs pebbles with its beak, drops them into the bottle, and like magic, the water rises so the crow can sip away. That's not just clever, that's next level problem solving, but hold on, it gets even wilder. A biologist once set up an experiment. He put worms inside pistachio shells and hid them deep inside a hollow tree trunk. The only way in? A tiny hole up top with some bendy sticks scattered nearby. A crow swoops in, instantly spots the challenge and grabs a stick. He pokes and prods, trying to fish out his treat, but it just won't work. Now here's where things get amazing. The crow actually stops, rethinks, and bends the end of the stick into a hook. He tries again, this time success. He pulls out the worms like a feathered locksmith. I mean, who needs opposable thumbs? But here's something you might not know. Crows can heal themselves too. When they're feeling sick, crows find an anthill, settle down, and let ants crawl all over them. Why? Well, ants release formic acid, a natural antiseptic that kills bacteria and parasites hiding in their feathers. This ancient behavior is called anting, and it's nature's own pharmacy, no doctor required. The more I watch crows, the more I realize nature is full of intelligence and self-healing. Sometimes you just have to slow down and notice.